all right welcome to the channel guys so in this video we are going to look at the um array every method okay and basically what the array every method does is it's it's kind of similar to the sum method but in this case it tests whether all of the elements in an array passes a test okay which is usually implemented as a callback function okay as against the sum method that checks if even just a single element can pass a test in an array so basically let me show you how it works um i'm going to create a variable of results and i'll set it to be equal to ages dot every okay that's what i'll use to call the every method or to implement the every method and then i will then pass in a function i'll then create a function of this adult here and this function is just going to take in one parameter and that's the age and then i'll just return an age that is greater than or equal to 18 okay and what do we need to do i'll just come down here and console.log my result all right and one last thing we need to pass this as a callback function here oh i think i just so let me copy that and paste that here oh i need to control z twice and then paste that here okay so i think something looks wrong here I'm, like there's a syntax error okay it has rectified itself all right so i'm going to check now and let's see okay so you see here we get false now why do you think we got false we got false because we have at least one age that is less than 18 in other words we have at least one age that fails this test okay so what I'm going to do is I'll just copy this. I'll just duplicate this array and comment out the first one. Okay. Um, and then I would delete all the ages that are less than 18. And so we can just see what happens. So let's also do that and save. And I'm just going to console.log one more time. And let's see what, we, what do you think we're going to get. So you see here we got true. And that is because this um, array method has gone through the array and it has seen that all of the ages meet this test here. In other words, they are either equal to or greater than 18. And that's why we have true here. So it's a um, very interesting array. And it's like I said, it's similar to the array.sum method. It's a very interesting method. Sometimes I just mix up these terminologies when I'm, you know, talking fast. All right, but so um, that's how it works. So, so thank you so much for watching this um, tutorial. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I want you to subscribe right away and to leave a like on this video. All right, see you in another one. Okay, see, I see.